behind the scenes of our workouts this is usually what we do when the camera's off. Zero five per mile. Coach Blue here from Nike Plus Run Club LA. I want Kevin Hart, dude. <laughs> dude, we have a very special breakfast oh. today. Did you get, you got taters? Yeah. Dude, frick. All right, shout out to Lane Reeves for actually sending us a breakfast recipe. So we're gonna try it today. It's a Spanish style omelet. So I'm gonna need to watch the video again because I forgot how to make it already. But it's uh, potatoes and onions chopped up and then you fry them in oil and then drain them and then put them on top of scrambled eggs and then you sort of make an omelet out of it. I'm so down. Dude, let's go Lane. Helping tips lane. for you. It's gonna be in bio. <laughs> Dang it. Dude, that's hype. I forgot about that. Yeah. Frick. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You like it? That was pretty close. Watch let's go, out. let's go. Matt, Jack, what could you be filming right now? Us in the car. That was I thought it was gelato. Spanish called Jocardo. That's a Monte Carlo. We like the gelato. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, I don't know where we're going. Welcome back to Eating with Bryant. This is the second time. Today is at Tomato Pie. Pizza joint. Pizza. Pizza joint. I got this one. Syracuse. Mallory, what I you got guess? Syracuse too. Okay. You know me and Brian on that spicy way. 6.4. Let it focus. Really? Dang. Jack? Jack's already grandma. done with his. Grandma, grandma, grandma. Okay. Um, stay tuned for the review. Jack, three pieces down. How do you feel? Great. What is what is your score? One to ten. Seven point eight. We're filming. 7.8. 1 to 10. 8.1, and I don't like pizza. Okay. Mallory. Um, 7.3. Okay. 7.3, 7.4. Me, personally, probably like an 8.1 or 2. It was good. Really good. Crust is very Shout good. out, tomato pie. Anybody have anything else to say? I'm, no, I'm, I'm a big fan of Bryant's cam. Yeah. <laughs> So I had an idea to film a commercial style video for um, unframed, unfra unframed clothing. And so today we're sort of driving all over the place location scouting where we should shoot that video. What do you have to say? I like that.
And I like wanted to come in here, put my wallet away, and brush my hair. It's like I was gonna have you hold it down for a second. Are you kidding me? The audacity. First off, Max. So, so far we have gone to... Welcome to the road trip. You... <laughs> <laughs> Want to see the winning lottery numbers? First to the <laughs> observatory, <laughs> and then we went to it. Calabasas. Mallory, how do you and then we drove guy? through Topanga, and now we're in Malibu. You know what, about? what is this, blueberry? So we found some is pretty good spots so far for the video. Hi, I'm Max London. Hi, I'm Max London. If you give me 30 seconds. Hi, I'm Max London. And with 30 seconds, I'm gonna tell you why unframed clothing is the best. It's stylish. It's handmade. Done with real paint. And it's cool. <laughs> Guys, that's all the time we have for today. The jazz hands. So my dad had some questions about what was going on in the video. Okay. We went to a storage unit filled with turbs. How did this madness happen? <laughs> so I am a Guayaki university ambassador. So the clip that you saw yesterday is the biggest storage unit I've seen yet of the Yerbamonte Tees. It was absolutely stacked. And basically all you have to do is send a request form of how many people are gonna be at an event, what the event is gonna be, and then you get a certain amount of cases. Yerba Monte T, get it, okay? You didn't pay me for this segment. That was great, dude. You didn't pay me like you usually do. I'll Venmo you. All right. I'll see you next week. Can I leave? I'm getting out of here. Oh, you're I'll, get out, I'll get out of your hair. Pretty much all we did today was go and look for places to go film this video that I talked about earlier. So I wanted to film the promo video not only to um, have something fun for us to film and something for Unframed Clothing to promote the clothing line once we're able to get a Shopify up and ready, uh, but also for me, cinematic shots and those type of videos are some of my favorite type of videos to make. And so I don't always get to do that if I'm doing daily vlogs like this. And so that was something that I was thinking could sort of break me out of that rhythm and force me to make something a little more cinematic. Also, I think the biggest challenge with this video, honestly, is gonna be weather. Like I said in the last video, it's pretty cloudy pretty much every single morning. So all the times that I would like to film something like that would be very early in the morning, before the sun comes up and as the sun comes up, and then right before the sun goes down would be the times that I would wanna film that. And with this weather, we're really not gonna be able to get nice light like I would like to. So, I don't know when we're gonna be able to shoot it. I'll keep you updated with that. I just broke these.